Hi everyone, welcome to a new Foundation series. This is going to be heavily modded, unlike any series I've ever played before, really. If you go back to uh, the Green Mountain series, it was unmodded so I could get all the achievements. Uh, Rocky Bay uh, started out uh, with uh, very light mods and then I added more and more mods as we went along, which is usually how I did my modded series. This is going to be a different game. We're using the map by Batyushki um, Arca. Archipelago. Archipelago. There. Thank you, Google lady. Second, uh, I'm using a custom name list. I took the name list from Fiery Essentials. A lot more common names. I don't know exactly where the name list is from, but there's a lot of names, so we will not be running out of names. I'm using the uh, big and small mod, which uh, makes the villagers all different sizes, which is really fun. Let me scroll through the mod list real quick here, just so you can pause it to see all the mods. We'll get down to the bottom here. And then uh, we'll talk more about the mods. There's all the mods. There's, uh, let's see, livestock farms, vegetable and poultry farms, furniture, fantasy decorations, the corn farm, which is another mod by Arthas. I have not used that one yet. And uh, orchard, we used that in Rocky Bay. Trading post, we used in Rocky Bay. Basic materials is pretty cool. Uh, clay thatch, shingles, and tile are required for most buildings. Barley bread and gruel. This is a new mod that adds the barley for farm, another windmill, a bakery, and a street vendor who cooks and sells gruel. Who doesn't like gruel, right? I see a way to make bread possibly without bad weather. Let's hope. Maybe. We'll see. Cottage industries. Uh, the surf houses can have industries in them. Uh, flocks is another way to make cloth. Fuel Everybody needs fuel and uh, harbor trading. Uh, this is different from the other harbor trading mod I used last time. And uh, market carts, uh, rustic church rework. I'm pretty excited about that. Storage, and I'll go over this more later because you have to make sure not to use storage during the initial tutorial quest to get it to work. Balancing for realism changes the upkeep and resource requirements to make the game harder. And then realistic trading basically makes the trader only useful at the very beginning of the game. So a little more realistic and really a little yes, less useful than they are now. Um, you're expected to use harbor trading and such to really do your trading. And it, the, the balance for realism. And you can look up these mods on foundation.mod.io. And if you search for balancing for realism, you'll see all the change in prices and such. But anyway, I've talked enough. Let's go ahead and start the game. And uh, I think I'm going to name this series Paradise, because uh, it seems like it should be Paradise, yet there's this uh, pesky volcano. <laughs> Let's take a look at that. So here's the standard introduction. We're supposed to pick our starting territory. Well, first off, let's go over to the, uh, let's go over and say hello to the volcano here. Yes, this uh, map has a, let's hope, mostly dormant volcano on it. It doesn't really look dormant, but... Uh, Turn off the user interface. There you go. And then uh, we have all this nice land. And let's get up here. So the island with the volcano on it also has minerals on it. And yes, you can start on this island. But maybe that's too easy. This island, here's a good starting point. I think I'm going to start here. I did a test game to make sure all the mods worked. And I started here. And uh, that was kind of a pain. Especially with the hill there. I think this is going to be better starting. This is going to be a better starting area. And uh, and then we'll have to do a bridge over to get to any of the minerals. And then what do we have? We have more minerals on this island. And uh, yep, that island's all by itself. And then we have kind of a desert island over here with palm trees. Check it out. And then uh, this is another desert island with more palm trees. I don't know exactly what, if we'll be coming over here or not. But this definitely has some starting zones. And you do have some minerals here. And, uh, yeah. So I think... I think we'll be starting right over here. Now, one more thing I want to point out. This map... Built into this map is a different way to get water. So basically, that's a natural spring. There are no wells. You cannot build a well. You have to build a water cellar who goes and collects water. It does make it a little easier at the beginning because they have to buy water. So your villages are buying water, which I guess in, in a lot of ways, it makes the very beginning of the game a little easier, but the realistic trading may make the late later in the game, maybe the middle of the game, a little harder. You know how easy it is for me to, to just max out the treasury all the time. So maybe that'll be the case. I haven't lost a foundation game in a long time. I haven't actually suffered a real loss. Uh, maybe this is the time, right? 
anyway, we bought the territory. And well, let's see, where do we want to put the city center? Uh, let's build it right down here. We just washed up on shore. So we're going to put the city center right there. Build. Hey, welcome to Archipelago. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Archipelago. Welcome to... <laughs> welcome to Archipelago. It just doesn't... Archipelago. Welcome to Archipelago. In this map, you lead a band of settlers landing for the first time on a newly discovered archipelago in the Atlantic. It was very hard for me. This is a semi-tropical area of volcanic islands and narrow channels. Water is scarce. Wells, wells run dry. Water cellars must transport water from natural springs to supply your villages. All three main islands have landing areas for immigrants and traders. Mineral deposit, deposits are concentrated on certain islands. Build bridges to access them. Okie doke. So let's say hello to our starting villagers. It's uh, Elijah, Emmons, Lita, Maro, Rance, Ronaldo, Twilla, and Velmer. See, I like these names already. And uh, we're just going to work our way through the quest as usual. And uh, they should all be different heights. And maybe fatness. I don't want to fat shame any of our new villagers. Just saying. And uh, yeah, we got to... All the guys look the same, except for bull haircut over here. <laughs> All right. Uh, so let's see. Let's build the builder's workshop, and we'll put it right over here. Looks good. There we go. Build. I'm going to go ahead and go up to speed two here. Else we'll be here all day. All right. And uh, that unlocks some buildings. We're going to assign two builders for now. It's uh, Elijah and Emmons. And the quest interrupted my click. Okay, we need to place a lumber camp. Yes, we do. Here's the lumber camp right here. And let's place it. Oh, let's stick it out in here. Where are we going to put our first... I think the housing is going to go over here, maybe. So we'll put the lumber camp as far back as I can without taking out any trees. So right about there. There we go, build. One wood, two tools. It's interesting. So that that's already a change. You know how the lumber camp in the main game only requires like one or two tools? Now this requires one wood and two tools. So we're using our initial resources. Also, check out the initial resources. We have 40 wood shingles and 40 clay tiles. And we will have to produce our own clay and shingles at a sawmill. A sawmill can now produce either planks or shingles. So there's that. That's different. All right, the lumber camp has been built. And the winner is... Lita. You're going to produce some uh, lumber for us. Uh, also, we're going to run out of villagers. I'm going to have to do some villager juggling here before the first uh, immigration wave comes in. Let's build that lumber camp. Missing extraction zone. We'll do the extraction zone. But, you know, I don't like you. Wa you're walking right through the rocks. Uh, maybe you'll walk around this build. That was one wood and two tools as well. Let's uh, set up our extraction zone. I don't think you normally have residential this early. Maybe you do and I just don't remember, but uh, we're not going to do that yet. The extraction zone will be... Uh, we'll get all the berries and all the woods. Please do the pines first. Uh, this has a lot of trees. This has a lot of trees. Let's actually don't do this section of trees because you know you know what it's, you know how I am and uh, let's get all these berries no complaint about the number of berries available right now okay now we have to produce berries we just circled the berries where's the where's the there it is so let's uh, excuse my rapid out of control zooming here's our first little gathering hut Five wood, build it, okay. And uh, before I forget, I'm gonna go ahead and build the, well, no, I'll wait for the quest to tell me because the quest is actually modified as well to tell you you need to build a water cellar, I think, or fuel. Uh, the villagers also have a requirement for fuel. Is this built? It is. Who's our miner? Ronaldo is going to uh, chop some wood. No resources to extract, what did I do? Yep. I sure did. Sorry about that. There, Ronaldo. 
Does that, does that make sense to you now? Uh, yeah, I'm okay with that. Residential maybe goes over here. Okay, and a little bit over here. Something like that. Alright, produce berries. Uh, there we go. You're up. That was quick. Who's our forager? It's Rance. Please don't pick Rance. Rance at berries, okay? Rance, get over there. One thing you have to be careful of when you're using the storage mod, which gives you different types of warehouses and granaries, do not use the storage mod for the quests. You also have the granary, and when I unlock the warehouse, we also have the warehouse. Use those for the quests. Don't use the storage mod. Save the storage mod for later, because the, the quest is dependent on actually building the granary. Stock your resources is added. Granary is huge. Huge. Uh, so let's let's see how we want to put this in here. Put the granary right in there. There you go. Build it. And I'm gonna also build a water cellar because I I think yeah here's the water cellar. The water cellar you won't get any warnings on, but they need water, and uh, you can't build a well. So this would be similar to building a well. Now do I? It doesn't look, you know, usually, usually I build a well around the boxes. But, uh, it doesn't, it's not going to look right. So we're going to put the water cellar, which is a positive. We're going to put the water cellar right over here. There we go. It requires one wood and four stone, similar to a well. Now, I'm, I'm going to nitpick just a little bit. You would think it would require more wood, because those barrels have to take up a lot of wood, but that's yeah, okay. Alright, and we'll, we'll, we'll create a water cellar, and as soon as you create the water cellar, it's got a custom dude, a custom animation. He carries two water pails, and he'll carry them over here to get this water over here on the right side of the screen. And uh, I, I just think that's the neatest thing. And modding in Foundation has come a long, long way. And uh, if you saw the goofy little building animation there, I think one of the next things they're going to work on is uh, the way that buildings... I believe it was in their developer notes, is that the way that uh, these things get constructed. But anyway, let's assign our water cellar. It's Morrow. There he is. He's got his pails, see? See, he's got the pails. And let's uh, let's just go to speed one. I was carrying a couple pails. And uh, he's going to walk. He's going to get the water. And there he's coming back with the water, okay? And I'm going to put him out of a job soon. This thing can hold 100 water. So as soon as this thing, as this has 100 water, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of uh, whatever his name is. I forget already. All right. How are we doing here? Probably short on stone, right? Yep. And you need, you don't have any stone yet. So let's, uh, let's put another stone cutter in the stone cutter camp. Uh, it's going to be uh, Velmir. And then we only have one unemployed, which is going to go here. And then I think our water seller will go over to be the market tender. Yep, and I should all be building a market right now. So let's see. Yeah, let's put the market... Food market right here. Build. Okay. The market has been built. So, let's see. Well, let's go ahead and sign uh, Twi Twilla. And you're going to sell berries. But you're not going to be able to get any berries until this is done. And then I guess we'll move uh, Water Pail Dude. What's your name? Hold still. Morrow, right. We'll move Morrow into the uh, granary. Uh, six sold this week for six bucks. I mean, you know, it's only a buck for a cup of water. <laughs> see, that's expensive water. You know, around here, we get uh, water in restaurants for free. Come on. 117 water. Zero of a hundred, zero of a hundred. Not sure what this means. But six sold this week is good. And uh, this is finished now? Alright. You're fired. And you're going to come over here. And you're going to store berries here. Right? Fill the needs of your newcomers. Completed. Now we're going to go, oh, build a fuel monger's cart. Here's, so here's the fuel monger. 
Now I looked this up. Sometimes they were called wood mongers, some, sometimes they were called fuel mongers, but this is an actual name of somebody in the Middle Ages that would sell things to, that would sell fuel to villagers. And the reason it's called fuel monger is because it can sell, uh, I think it can sell wood, coal, or dung, if you want to burn dung. Let's not. Five wood to build that. All right. And that's yet another job. I don't know. I guess I'm going to take a builder to fill that job. All right. Fuel monger has been built. We don't have any employed, do we? Nope. All right. We're going to fire a builder. Uh, Emmons. You're going to be mongering the fuel. We're going to use wood, not coal. Wood. And it's going to be Emmons. All right. So there, so I, li I like the way that uh, they were able to add that to the starter quests. Now we need to encourage immigration. Assign a job to all your villagers, raise happiness to 100. We have to provide water and food for that, and we are providing both. You have, you're sitting on 33 berries, and you're sitting on 107 water. And storage is full somewhere. I was going to say, I didn't think we had that many berries. Storage is full of wood. No. What's storage full of? We're not sure. Maybe the water. Okay, there. You've delivered some berries. You're selling some berries. Almost there. We get the ta-da! Come on. Just waving our arms around. Who's who's the sucker that hasn't bought the berries yet? Who is it? Buy them. Nope. There it is. Somebody didn't buy water or fuel, something. Anyway, there we go. We've uh, encouraged immigration, so we should get uh, two more, and this will help out greatly. And we're see, we're over five hundred dollars. No complaints. I'm gonna go ahead and buy this piece of land here. Uh, pause. I'm gonna go ahead and buy. Look at all these pines. Purchased. Oh, look, we got palm trees in here too. Check them out. All right. And now uh, let's. Poultry farms are now unlocked. Full instructions how to use them are at foundation.mod.io. Chicken and goose houses need three to four flocks per house, and birds replenish monthly. If you notice you've run out of birds before the end of the month, place more flocks. Chickens pr can produce either eggs or poultry. Eggs produce faster but sell for less gold. You must clear dung from the farms or they will stop producing. Once One dung heap can service many farms. A uh, message from the kingdom. Uh, we recognize... Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm but your humble servant, whatever. I need to turn off uh, territory boundaries. There. Okay, housing ins insufficient. Alright. Uh, promote your first newcomers. Do we have new people? We do. Burly and Flossy. Okay, uh, let's, let's make sure we get... Um, let's get, get another builder. That's gonna be who? That's Burley, and Flossie, I think, the fuel monger is full, yeah, let's, Flossie, I think you're gonna do the water. Yep, you're gonna do water. Now we have 98 out of 100, what does this right hand number mean? Does anybody know? I don't know, nobody knows. Okay, so now I'm going to expand the extraction zone first into all the pines. There we go. The pines are gone. Uh, we're going to cut the extraction zone here, even though that's close. Are these berries mine? I forget. Nah, some of them are. So I'll just, uh, we'll just... There, we got half the berries there, just in case we need them. Okay. Uh, we're going to need more food as well. We have 27 berries, and I just bought a new piece of land, so they're going to go up there. They need residential zones now, housing zones. Yep. And that's not what I wanted to do. Let's put housing. Let's put housing in here. And I don't... Yeah, housing over here. Hopefully that's enough to build some houses. Alright, now if you look at these houses, check them out. Um, they need thatch. And clay. And wood. Right? Okay. And we don't have, we only have, uh, we have 40 clay tiles and 40 wood shingles, but we don't have any clay. So we need to produce clay right away, and clay unlocked, fortunately, and so did a thatcher's yard. 
Uh, so a thatcher jar collects materials to prepare roofing. And let's see here. What do we want to put the thatcher jar? I have no idea. Uh, we'll, we'll sneak in over here. Are you a negative? A reed bed, decorative only. Okay, thatcher's yard. It's not negative. That's good. So uh, you're going to be cutting down some thatch here. Build. Uh, I wonder what it took to build. I forgot to look. Let's look at let's let's look at another one. If I put this down and do this, basically just two tools. All right. We're going to have to be careful. You can still buy tools via trading. So let's get rid of you. Delete. Okay. Uh, how many tools do we have? We have 26 tools. This is good. And then we need to build a clay pit. And the clay pit... Gosh, I don't know. Seems like outside territory. Seems like something that would go close to the water, but it's all outside territory. Uh, we'll put the clay pit over here. It's not negative, fortunately. So here's the clay pit right there. Uh, this also takes two tools. That's, that's, that's totally different. And we need to do that, or else we're not going to get any more immigrants, because we, we can't fill their housing needs. See? 71 happiness. Comfort is minus 15. That yard's been built. Uh, we don't have anybody. We do. Who do we have? Do we have another immigration wave and I forgot it? No, we were just... We had one unemployed. Okay. So we have a Thatcher now. Your name's not Margaret, is it? No, uh, Fermina. Uh, and then uh, we'll get the clay pit built. And uh, we'll, I guess we'll put a builder in the clay. What are you going to build the clay pit? Can I see the clay pit? It's unfortunate I can't see it. Because if I could see it, I would high prioritize it. Let's see. Buildings. Hey, we got another villager. All right. Paint zone issue. Oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Produces thatch. No resources to extract. Oh. Uh, clay pit built. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, I'm confused. Um, we have a clay digger. Flores the clay digger. Okay, you can dig clay. This is cool. What do we have to do to do thatch? Thatcher collects materials to prepare roofing for rustic buildings. I guess this isn't decorative, man. You're going to have to collect it from the reeds. Uh, well, you're going to have to walk down here, outside territory. You're going to have to walk down here to collect it. All right. Yeah, we got some reeds. Let's do two reed beds. Interesting. Build. There. That yard's been built. Now you're going down. Oh, look, she's got the sickle. She's the Grim Reaper. Ah, oh, that's cool. That is cool. Look at that. All right. Good. Now we can build some houses. And uh, you're shoveling the clay. What kind of shovel you got? You actually have a shovel. Check it out. It's a steel tip shovel. It's pretty fancy dancy for the Middle Ages, don't you think? All right. Where are we now? Have I built everything? Are there any unemployed? No. Houses should be getting built now. So now we have we have zero thatch. We have one clay. And then wood shingles and clay tiles are apparently for more advanced building. Nice. I need to unlock a trade route. So the first thing I need to do now, if we go back to uh, the normal game. By the way, there's the first new trading screen. Rathdrum, who we've never heard of before, but they have this nice little symbol here. What are those called? Shields? What are, the, what are those called when you put a heraldry? A herald? Anyway, they'll sell us tools for 30. They'll buy berries for just one. Poultry for four. Meat for eight. Eggs for two. Fish for four. Piggies for 12. Vegetables for four. Bread for four. Huh? But not very much of it. All right. And you're allied with the kingdom. But that's not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go to estates because we want to unlock the warehouse and the bailiff office. All right. And then we're going to have to build the warehouse. Unlock the warehouse from the labor estate panel. I did that. All right. Let's build it. And let's build. Now, again, if I built storage, and I just want to show this, 
There is a granary and a warehouse in storage, but they don't function the same. Okay, so I'm not... I, I This might work for trading, but I'm not going to take that chance. I'm going to build the old school warehouse for this. You know, we never take any chances. I think, I think trading should work for any storage. Okay, I'm going to take that chance. We're going to put storage here. And we're going to do just a little shed for tools. And uh, I don't... Oh, there's got to be a door. So we're going to put a little shed here. And then uh, we need a door on the shed. There we go. It's a shed for tools. And that uh, we need uh, resources needed. Six and eight. Six wood, eight planks. So we've got to build that uh, sawmill. And uh, we'll see how the shed goes. You're going to... You also require shingles. You have shingles, but you don't require shingles. All right. One shed coming up. And let's get that sawmill built. Because we need the planks. Get on my face, chickens. Where's that sawmill? I passed right by it, didn't I? Here it is. One sawmill. And uh, the sawmill should go right next to the woodcutter anyway. So here's the sawmill right here. And build. You need 20 wood and 10 stone. We have 10 wood and... 51 stone. Okay. Plus one villager. Hey. Okay, berries first. And that is uh, Michael. And then do we have any unemployed? We have three unemployed. Hmm. I believe the balancing mod also uh, brings in more newcomers at first too, which means we're going to grow faster. So we're going to go up to two woodcutters. That's going to be uh, Thelma and Louise. No, Thelma and Lita are now the woodcutters. And there's our monthly report. We're not ready to promote yet because I have to build... I have to build the uh, Lord Manor. Uh, he's discombobulated because he's not used to all the jobs. We only need one transporter here for the berries. I think more berries right now. And that is uh, Elta. Is going to be doing this. And then we're going to need more thatch and more clay because these houses are slow. They they need so much of this stuff. Everybody's going to be unhappy. They're still immigrating, though. But uh, their happiness is way down. We have a food shortage. All right. Well, you know, we should have saw... You, we, I should have seen that coming. No, wh what's the term? I'll use we. Whenever anything goes wrong, it's we. When everything goes right, it's me. You understand? Um, you're outside territory, eh? I don't want to cut down... I don't want to cut down anything. Can I squeeze you in there like that? Yep. Build five wood. Okay. Any more unemployed? Uh, one. Demosthenus. I thought these names were better. I, I know there was a couple. A couple of numbers in there. Uh, what do we got here? We have three of three there. I'm happy with that. Let's go three of three woodcutters. Uh, maybe I should have added them to thatch. How much wood do we have? Ten wood? Two builders? And uh, we have one more unemployed. All right. What are we shortest on? One thatch, two clay. We're gonna- we're gonna use another thatcher. Uh, who do we have? It's just Johan. Johan? Johan Thatcher. Okay. And I guess, is this... I wonder if this is an endless resource or not. I have no idea. You get on there and take a couple swings and come back. I know, I, I should have built this next to this. I can fix it. There. Build. It's going to take two more tools. What do we have? 22 tools. I do think we start out with more tools, fortunately. And then... Yeah, you get built here... Let's make that high priority, please. Waiting for a builder. And then I'll delete this first one. And hopefully that'll be a little faster for our Thatchers. We have zero, zero unemployed. No zone issue. It was interesting. It showed up as a zone issue because there weren't any of these. All right, you're done. Thatcher's yard built. And you're the first Thatcher's yard. Oh, geez, okay. No, I just want to delete you, and then you sh both of you should move down to here. Delete. And you should both move down to here, right? 
Plus three villagers. Vegetable farms are now available. Vegetable farms are now unlocked. Full instructions how to use them are at foundation.mod.io. There are two types of farms. Freeform, like wheat farms, and fields that you place, like buildings. Freeform farms require you to paint the crop field and select what type of vegetable to grow. I didn't know that. I didn't notice that last time. Vegetables require compost, which comes from dung heap in poultry or livestock farm. Dung heap. There we go. The thatchers are moving over. Yeah, Johan moved over, and now they're both over. Fermina and Johan are now over, and they, they can thatch faster because they're closer. And does that have a slight problem with the... You know, not really. It looks fine. Okay. We already have 20 villagers. And uh, I, I'm, I was going to name it. Right? I was going to name the village. You don't name the village here anymore. You go here. And uh, Lord is going to be Lord Fred. Just because. And the village name, I think, you know, why not Paradise, right? I was going to put a question mark in, but I worry, I worry about the save files with the question mark. So it's going to be Paradise. Certainly not going to be... Archipelago. Archipelago. No. Thank you, Google lady. Uh, how many unemployed do we have? Three unemployed. Uh, let's see. No workers assigned. Right. You. Let's assign. How many berries do we have? Just four? One, two, three. Now we've got all that going on. And how are we doing on water? We still have 108 water, so the water's not a problem. And uh, let's put some more in clay. Nope, we're all out. It's only Floris is all by herself right now. And the houses are getting done. The sawmill's built. Oh, uh, and the, look, the little warehouse is built. Okay. You can have four transporters. I thought it was limited to two. I am confused, but that's okay. You have four empty slots in, in storage. You have a uh, promote unlock trade route to get tools. Okay. So you're going to hold tools and planks. And I think you're going to have to hold... Eh, you're probably not going to have to hold those. Let's hold uh, polished stone for sure because we're going to try to sell that. And then what else? I don't know. Uh, just regular stone. Okay. And we had one new villager come in. And it's Nebraska. How about that? It's Nebraska. You work here. I thought, sure, I met, I read on the mod that most of these only allowed two workplaces. But perhaps because I built a regular granary. I'm not sure. No access to food. I'm... I'm picking as fast as I can. 15 berries. Who has no access to food? Whoever you're complaining, whatever you're complaining about, we have berries here. What's going on here? You seven berries. You didn't quit, did you? Twilla, come on. Get a, get a move on it. Okay, there's seven berries sitting here. And are uh, you at the stall? You're at the stall. Yeah. Uh, I could use another one here. Man. All right. Well, it's interesting. I'm definitely falling behind already. But uh, we we just put in the new berry pickers, sometimes called foragers, and they're working feverishly on the berries, and uh, the berry numbers should be going up. Our sales should be fine. Eighty happiness, twenty one villagers, and uh, I still have to build a lord manor and then a church. Holy cow! All right, I need somebody in the sawmill. Now here, see at the sawmill, see, you can choose plank or wood shingles. We're going to do planks at first, because that's what we need. And we don't have anybody. We've immigrated way too fast. Way, way too fast. I'm going to pause it for a little bit. Okay? Because I need... We have one transporter assigned there. We have 53 wood. So I'm going to take... Thanks. I keep clicking on Lita, apparently. You're full. Alright. Although you should be dragging wood into here. I don't know what your problem is. But anyway, I'm going to take one of the woodcutters, uh, Thelma. Sorry to break up Thelma and Louise. And Thelma, you're going to go in here. And you're going to make planks so I can unlock the trade route. 
you've moved some of the wood. Or I didn't store wood here, did I? No, when you don't store wood, yeah, that's that that's what explains it. Don't get dazzled. How many planks do we have? Twelve planks, and what do we need to unlock that trade route? Twenty planks, just like before. Alright. Get to 20 planks, unlock the trade route, and uh, we'll get a, a free zone. And I'll have to decide where I want to buy that zone. This looks like just... I mean, we have so many trees here, though. So many trees. This gives me a lot of trees and mostly water. I'm probably going to go this. We're going to plant our own trees eventually. I'm probably going to do this. Why not do this? Why wouldn't you do this? And this, 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 this. I don't know. Uh, we have that 20 planks yet? Almost. That, we had 20 planks. Who's using the planks? Oh, they got carried to the... Thank you very much. Unlock a trade route. One free territory. All right. Let's buy it. I don't think we need trees. So let's buy this. There we go. Okay. We get water, which we don't really need. But uh, we get more land. And then let's go ahead and expand the residential out into here for now so they have plenty of places to build. Okay. And then let's... Oh, I forgot to set up the trade route, of course. Resources. We want to buy... Uh, tools, 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 tools. You're not in alphabetic order anymore. Uh, tools, right? We want to buy until inventory reaches... How many tools do we have? 20? I'm going to say 20 so we don't spend any money yet. We'll spend money soon. Hey, it's Trader Dude. All right, let's pause the game and look at the Trader Dude. He's coming in. There. It's the Trader from Raftum. And uh, he wants to buy 10 berries, 10 eggs, 10 vegetables, 10 meat, 10 fish, 10 bread, 5 meat, 5 boar. And he only has one tool to sell. That's a little disconcerting. All right, well. Luckily, we don't need them. Actually, I'm going to take... <laughs> hold the phone. I'm going to take your tool. All right, where's tools? Tools, tools, tools at the very bottom. Buy until we have 25. Good grief. There, so we'll buy... Buy until inventory reaches 25. We have 20 tools, yeah. Okay. Man, that's rough. All right, I got to build a Lord Manor. Mm, if I bought this spot, that'd be a nice a nice patch for a Lord Manor. Uh, I own up on the hill, though, right? Yep. Well, not really. I don't want my Lord Manor in the pines. We'll go plains. Right, I'll build my Lord Manor over here. Okay. Let's build the Lord Manor. It's over in administration. And uh, let's get this built as quickly as we can. We'll go with my favorite part, which is this. And uh, we'll raise it up a little bit and put a front door on it. Raise it up a little bit more. And then in the back is going to sit our dude. Even though we don't have anything for the dude to do yet. Uh, right across from the spring. Of course it is. And uh, the horseman will come. Actually, I'm not going to put the arrow. And the horseman should stop right at the front door. Should I build a treasury already? This is uh, five planks and five stone. And we have 12 planks now. And how much is this? 10 planks and this 5 planks yeah let's build a little treasury I like I like the way this little dude looks a little higher we cover the window yep that's good there we go let's build that and uh, hey at least I'm not next to the uh, stone cutters this time how are we doing on food 26 food we have a lot of thatch though and three of three and three of three. Boy, I need to get started on the food, man. I really need to get started on the food. 41 clay, 46 thatch. You should be full soon. And uh, in this little hut here, we have... Uh, how are we doing? Uh, everything. Yeah, we, we, we don't have polished stone yet, which I want to sell. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Trading. Trading. Neighboring cities. You don't even want to buy polished stone. Alright, well, 
Uh, I guess we won't hold polished stone here, though. Let's just hold wood so that they can continue to cut down the trees. Yep, just wood. There you go. It's all stocked in this little, uh, this little hut here. Perfect. Envoy requesting an audience. Oh, the horseman showed up. Oh, you're showing up on the boxes. That's fine. What do you want? People are hungry. 30 berries. I have 29. But we get stuff. Uh, do I need the stuff yet? We get the gold. I could use the gold. I shall assist the clergy. What are we going to need? This is a bad move, man. We've only got 30 berries. Where are those 30 berries? Are they all right here? 24 of them are here. None of them are here. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't. We're just, I'm keeping it all. Goodbye. And yes, because I have the trading mod enabled, uh, the horse just walks instead of galloping. That's the way it goes. And we have two Thatchers. Only one person on clay, which is good. We could use... What could we use? We could use... I'm gonna... I'm gonna cut down... I'm gonna reduce the number of Thatchers. Johan. And uh, you're gonna come in and help us cut some wood down. Yeah. And you know what? I'm... I'm gonna build another berry hut over here. I'm not panicking about berries at all. I'm worried we're going to starve to death. Uh, this is why we get the farms early. Uh, we're going to build another berry hut right here. I can, You can just barely reach that one. But just one of these huts ought to be able to do it. The resources needed. We need five wood for this. And I need to pay the upfront cost of five. And uh, guess what we don't have? We don't have the money. Okay, we built it. Good. You see that mad clicking? And uh, we'll build that, and then I'll turn on immigration, and uh, we'll hope like heck we can keep up with the food. I'm going to have to build some more food in here. And uh, this is possibly where we've, we've, gone, we've gone too fast. I don't know, but anyway, uh, that's going to be it. That's going to be it for this time. Wow. Uh, and there's our uh, friendly volcano over there. So let's see. Yeah, we're, we're building... We're building and berry picking and uh, doing what we can. Boy, that looks cool. Got a volcano in the distance. I'm sure it'll be fine. The lava will hit the water. We'll be fine. Yeah, we're perfectly safe on this island. It's, it's those guys that are unsafe. We're perfectly fine. But anyway, there we go. We've started here in uh, paradise with the question mark, right? And uh, I'm... this is fun. This is fun. It makes Foundation different. Hopefully you're enjoying it too. And uh, hopefully I won't uh, kill all my villagers off. Uh, they, don't, they don't die. They just leave. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And we'll see you later.